Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my current contour routine using all powders. So if you'd like to know what I do for this, then please keep watching. So first things first, I'm going to break down the makeup that I've got already on my face. So for foundation, I have got the Maestro foundation by Giorgio Armani and I just used a damp beauty blender all over my skin. Then for concealing, I used my trusty Maybelline eraser eye concealer in the usual areas underneath my eyes, my my forehead down the bridge of my nose around my mouth and my chin my brow tutorial will be linked in the info box for you all for my lashes I am wearing the Lana lashes by Huda Beauty and on my lips I have got posh by galactic so now onto the powder contour itself. I'm starting off with a powder highlight. This is a very unusual product and I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt in the medium dark shade. I'm using the lightest shade in this palette and it is a bit of a cheap product because it's kind of like a cream to powder finish. So I'm grabbing this on my beauty blender and packing this on underneath my eyes. Now this is going to really brighten and lift this area and the beauty blender is also gonna help to slightly blend the product out. Then I'm also gonna apply to my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and on my chin, like you can see here. Placing highlight in these areas are basically going to lift the under eyes, going to make your chin look slightly pointy and also adding dimension to the forehead. Now moving on to the powder contour. For this I've been currently using my Freedom palette which is the Strobe palette and I've been using a mixture of all of the darker shades. So basically you want to contour where your ear starts up to where your mouth is. And taking the brush that comes in the same contour palette, I'm just going ahead and applying the color where the brush was. So more color towards the top of the ear and diffusing it out towards the mouth. I'm also applying this around the perimeters of my face, so all along my hairline and also my jawline as well. Then I am building up any color where I kind of want it to be more intense and also taking this down in straight lines down the sides of my nose and also the tip and then also a little bit around my mouth. So this is what it looks like when you've got the powder contour all on your face and what the contour on your cheek does is it kind of sucks them in and gives them really nice structure and along with the highlight on top it lifts your cheeks. The contour around your hairline will make your forehead look a little bit smaller and the contour on your nose will make it look thinner and longer. Contouring on your jawline will help it look very nice and structured and chiseled. Now it's time to blend all of those lines out. So here I'm first blending the highlight shade out and slightly diffusing it into the contour shade. Now you wanna work slowly with this. There's no rush. You wanna work in kind of small sections just to make sure that you're happy with the way everything is looking and that way you're not messing things up too much. Once you're happy with blending out the highlight lines, it's time to blend out the contour lines. So I'm using the same contour brush that came with the Freedom Palette makeup and I am just using that to diffuse all those lines away so that everything looks nice and blended and it's not looking harsh or anything like that. Now it's time to set the other areas of the face. These are additional setting products because I love going in with these. I use a mixture of either the Kick-Ass Powder or the Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier and I'm just packing the Laura Mercier Powder on top of the areas that we applied the L'Oreal Cream to Powder Highlight. And this is just going to add additional setting powers and it's not going to make the makeup budge all day long. Okay, so this stage is completely optional and that is cleaning up the contour. So sometimes I quite like to have a bit of a cleaner contour and to do that I grab my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and a normal makeup sponge, you can use anything that you like and I just draw a line where I want the contour to be cleaned up as you can see me doing here. And this is kind of called baking or setting, whatever you like to call it. Um, but I like to leave this for a few minutes. And now I'm going in with some powder highlights. I'm taking Ballerina, which is a Laura Geller highlighter shade. I'm just adding that right underneath where I would initially highlight my cheekbones. Then taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Starlight Illuminator, I'm adding that right to the tops of the cheekbones. If you've been watching my videos recently, you'll know that I've been loving layering highlighters and this is my current go-to combo. So I'm also taking that powder into my brow bone, the bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow. Now it's time to take away all that Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and this is just gonna help clean up that contour like you can see here. And then I do like to go in with a little bit more of contour powder powder just to kind of intensify any areas where I want the contour to be a little bit stronger. 
Right at the end, I like to take my damp beauty blender and just make sure all the lines are nice and blended out. So this, you guys, is my current powder contour routine. I've been wanting to do one of these for ages, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got some tips and tricks from it. If you have any tips and tricks of your own, then please leave them in the info box below. But for now, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Bye!